So in this example, I want to demonstrate the use of the uh, type of operator as well as showing how to use the concatenation operator. So here I have some variables that were created. Um, I'll go ahead and go down and make an alert and I'll use type of in here to check on the uh, data type of these. So type of is one word and it's lowercase and that's our operator. And then you can go ahead and just type the variable name in there. And then if you were to execute this code either in a um, command console or using an alert here um, in a browser, then it would give us a data type of string because username holds uh, the word Wilma. Uh, and if you were to use this to check on the data type of user age, it would give a data type of number. So note too that um, type of is very useful if you're error checking. Uh, if you're checking on the current uh, status of a variable's data type after it's gone through some conversions, and you might be wondering exactly. Um, also, it can be used in conditionals, so you may want to execute a certain function based on uh, the current data type of a variable. So here I'll just say um, variable, uh, variable user age, and I'm just going to actually, let's not do that because that would be to declare it again, so that wouldn't be quite correct. But let's say user age um, plus equals, so I'm going to add username onto it. Well, let's see what happens now with the variable user age and find out what occurs. So I'll save this up and I'll look at this in Firefox. And what happens is that when you add two different types of data type, what's going to modify at least you know uh, one of those? It'll give us an error or it'll modify one. So it takes the number and the string, it brings them together. And the way JavaScript works is that it converts the number to a string. If that's impossible for some reason, then it would give us a uh, it give us an undefined or not a number. All right, uh, let me come on back to my script. I want to show how to use the concatenation. I'll take off line four here. So let's say I just want to have an output to the world here, and I'll do this within my alert. So I'll say welcome because I'm greeting the user, I have a space here to make it easier to read, the plus operator, and then user name. Now where some first time programmers get a little confused is why don't we put a quote around username? Uh, that's because that's our variable. And so if you put quote around it, then it would treat it as a string. It would literally show the word username. So we wanna show the content of that variable. So no quotes around it. JavaScript will see that it has no quotes. It'll check to see that it's a variable or a keyword, one of those two. If it's not a variable with any data or it's not a keyword, then it would return an error. In this case, this is a variable that contains Wilma. So this will return welcome Wilma. And I just add one more concatenation here. Um, you are from uh, user state. There we are. Uh, the space here be uh, between the quote and you. There we go. And then the output is welcome Wilma. You are from Ohio. So that's just how to use the con uh, the concat concatenation operator to bring these strings together. Of course, you can use that for uh, for for some basic mathematics as well, which we'll get into soon.